Hello folks, Kurt Zepp here. I want to do a quick video and some processing that I've done. Now, I've noticed for a long time my luminosity data, the stars, they don't look really that good. Their full width half maximum values are much larger than the RGB values. So that they look the stars look larger the airy disk is bigger and i've did something different with this last image where i just used the rgb stars now i've as i said i've noticed this for a long time with my refractor setup and with the hyperstar setup that i'm using currently it's even worse uh, let me show you what i've done and i'll go from there i encourage that let me watch and ask for quest one Okay, so here we are in PixInsight, and this is my luminosity data. It's it's about five hours of 90 second exposures, and this is my RGB data after it's stacked and combined, and it's one hour of each color of red, R, G, and B. And you can just see that the this luminosity it, the stars are much larger than they are for the RGB data. Now, I need the luminosity. You can, you can clearly see for the faint nebula that the luminosity is definitely needed. But I don't like what, I don't like the stars on this. So I tried star reduction in PixInsight, and it did a pretty good job. It made it much smaller. But it's still a bit larger for my tastes. Now, I went ahead and combined the this data with the RGB to make a LRGB image, and this is what it looks like. It looks okay, but I still wanted to do some of these stars. They're still bloated. It's probably hard to see on the my video, but if you look at them very closely, you can see they are. So what I did is I did, made a starless image using StarNet and wound up with this for the LRG, LRGB image. And what I did was I didn't just reduce those stars. What I did is I took these RGB stars and made a starless image out of it. And so I had a star mask of just the RGB stars. Okay. And what I did is I combined the RGB stars with the starless LRGB image. And that worked really, really well. Now, just a couple of things. I haven't really been a big fan of StarNet. And not because I didn't like the idea of StarNet. I liked the idea of it. And I thought it did a fair job. What I didn't like about it was I was it was I was unable to bring the stars back in and have it look good. I wasn't able to do a good star blending procedure. And I've tried various methods, and sometimes they did. Sometimes it worked uh, when I was fumbling and fiddling around with it, doing various methods. But I had no consistent way of doing it really well until recently. Recently, I started doing blending mode using pixel math and that has been working real well. I did the, the last two or three images that I did with StarNet. Uh, that's what I did and it, and it seems to work pretty well. So let me show you how I did it. For those of you that don't know, pixel math is a really handy tool in PixInsight. Now, I'm no expert in PixInsight at all. So I'm just going to show you a, a quick and dirty way to do it with pixel math. And pixel math, you can start using it for other things too. I, I it's a very powerful tool. I, I use it for blend, um, other types of blending as well. So let me show you. First off, you go into Process, come down to Pixel Math, open it up. All right, so let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep it on RGBK here. This means it's a color image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the starless image, the LRGB starless. And there it is. And I'm going to combine it with the RGB stars. And the way you do it 
is you open up the expression editor and you're going to put down two parentheses and I'm going to double click the LRGB starless image which is right here I've got two of them open and I'm going to just use a plus close that parentheses put another parentheses I'm going to combine it with the RGB star mask and close the parentheses press OK and there it shows up uh, on my command tool and then you click this destination down here and make sure you put create new image and you want to keep the color spec the same as target or you can press RGB color it doesn't really matter the, the both of these were color images anyways so I can just keep it and you're gonna press the rectangular button and there it is there is the new image can we close this or minimize this with the LR with the RGB stars and the LRGB for the nebulosity and let me compare that with the original LRGB image and you can see how the stars are much better in this area or at least to me anyways now here it is compared to the my final image I did a little bit more star reduction to make it even better but I'm pretty happy with this overall I think it works out pretty well so anyways, I hope this has been some benefit to you guys, and we'll see you next time.